something. This video could go one of two ways. And I'm trying to get it to go in the right direction. <laughs> hey, Sprouts! It's me, your favorite anime-loving galley. Onion. And today, I am here in my Karasuno's Crows shirt. Because that show has the best theme song ever made. And I am here to talk about One Piece. Because I love... One Piece. One Piece is my favorite anime of all time. I am a One Piece girly. As a lot of you know, I have a One Piece tattoo. Let me... This one, I have Zoro on my tie. I don't want to stand. I don't want to. Oh, okay. On the bed, on the bed. There we go. I have Zoro on my tie. And I love One Piece. It's just such a great anime. And I wanted to, after watching the One Piece Netflix TV show, I wanted to talk about why I love One Piece. Why it's my favorite show. Because literally watching that, I was like, no, but this is going to go into that, and this is why this is happening, and why that, and this is no connection, connection, connection. Okay, so let me go ahead and tell y'all, I watch One Piece dubbed. I know, it's a thing. I just like watching my longer anime dubbed so that I can, like, do other stuff while watching the show. That's what I did with One Piece a lot of the times, but I was, I wouldn't do anything while watching the show i would just sit there and watch the show on most occasions i would like get up during the theme song and i would go clean stuff during the theme song because i knew how long the theme song was and i did that and i would once the theme song was over and the recap was over then i would come back and i'll sit down and be like give me more give me more mm. so i love one piece i watch it dubbed so i am currently on episode 1000 Yes, there are 1,000 episodes in One Piece. I know it's haunting. I know it. I know it's scary, a big number. But trust me, once you get into it, you can't stop. Once you pop, you can't stop, okay? So you just... Yum, 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 yum. So, like I said, I'm on episode 1,000. There are more than 1,000 episodes. The sub, the dub has not caught up with the sub yet. So hopefully that will be happening within the next year year and a half some people are saying like may-ish you know different articles are saying different things but i cannot wait for it to catch up as for it to be like basically simulcast i will be doing a little dance making a little live to one piece to one piece so Reasons why I love One Piece. I love, I did not write these down. Obviously, I'm in my like t-shirt. I just fluffed out my afro. I have to go to work later today. So I just, after the show, I was just like, I'm just gonna talk about it. I love One Piece because <laughs> it is leftist propaganda. <laughs> I love One Piece. <laughs> I love One Piece because Luffy is an anarchist. <laughs> I think that the show would really resonate with a lot of young people these days with the premise that Luffy is all about following your dreams and he is very persistent about that through the whole show. So he's like if you want something you will work hard to get it and he's like and if the system's stopping you break the system. <laughs> He's like, I want to be king of the pirates. The marines are trying to stop me from being kings of the pirates. I'm going to stop them. Oh, the pirates are going to stop me from being king of the pirates? I ain't going to be a part of them either. I'm going to stop them too. And I'm just going to help people along the way. I'm here for the innocent people. And I'm like, <laughs> Luffy is the president we need right now. <laughs> Luffy is my politician. I'm voted for Luffy. <laughs> And that's how he gets so many of his recruits to his team is that he one is very capable so obviously you have seen that he already is putting hard work towards his dream in the first place so you're like oh okay he ain't just talk you know he ain't just talk 
Like, that's what people mostly think he is because he's a little string bean. He's just, he's like this big. He's like this big. He's a little guy. Little skinny guy. Little skinny rubber guy. And people are like, you? King of the Pirates? I don't know about it. I don't know. You, you a little small. To that I say. Now, so he, he can put action behind his words. And he is dedicated to his dream. He is like, no, I'm doing this. No matter what, no matter who tells me I can't, I'm still going to do it. I'm trying not to make this a review of the Netflix One Piece, but it might slip in and out of there. Also, just going my spoilers for One Piece. But watch it. Watch it and then come back. Watch all 1,000 episodes or 1,000 plus episodes <laughs> if you are into some. But, and then come back and comment down below. Or if you've already watched it, comment down below. Because I want to talk. I want to talk. I want to talk. Okay, let's just talk about it. Let's just talk about it. One Piece, Netflix. My friends were like, you should watch it. My friends were like, I've been watching it. I've been loving it. And I'm like, oh, like... None of my friends have watched One Piece, the actual anime, and they're like, you should watch it. It's so good. I love it. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, but I've watched the show, but I've watched the original material. So I'm going to have preconceived notions and a bias. And I did have preconceived notions and quite a big bias. Let me say that I think all the actors did a really good job. I like it was watchable. I watched the whole thing. Usually, like at one point I did give up. I'm gonna be honest. But I came back and I finished it. Partly because I wanted to make this video. But I finished it. It was finishable. I I I consumed the content. So my cat is scratching on the door. I really am proud of the actors. They did a really good job. And I'm proud of the people who made the show it actually made a lot of sense when you're taking out certain parts of the show and the parts that I felt like they take took out it was like one or two things that I was like that's not gonna work out if they keep this story going like that's gonna be kind of choppy to introduce people later but I, like I said there's a thousand episodes like well there's more more than a thousand episodes so one you're gonna have to come cut some stuff out you just have to it it don't make sense to not cut stuff out and two ain't no way in hell they gonna get to a thousand episodes they ain't gonna do it you know netflix likes to cut their shows off you know they like to do that like i know that they're gonna get a season two right now but like you think they're gonna get a season at least seven <laughs> like they got to they got to if you haven't seen it sorry about to spoil they got to right after Arlong and put it about to go up into the mountain to go to the Grand Line in this season alone that takes about 60 episodes to do 60 ish somewhere around there 60 episodes to do in the actual One Piece show I remember it was very soon. It wasn't even like a hundred episodes because I told my boyfriend, I was like, because he's seen like two, three hundred of the episodes. So the first part of the show, I was like talking back and forth with him. And I was like, dang, they got to the green line and quit. And he was like, yeah, I know, right? But it like goes from there. And it really does go from there. It really does. You gotta watch the show. It's so good. You gotta, you gotta watch the show. Okay, That's only like a 60 to 70 episode branch right there and ain't no way they gonna get to a thousand episodes unless netflix is just like we spending that money and then one piece netflix gets to be to like supernatural levels which supernatural is also one of my favorite tv shows <laughs> i just like long commitment shows i am not afraid of commitment okay that's what we're learning with this I'm a very committed person, obviously, with all these tattoos. I'm not afraid of commitment. So, One Piece Netflix. I, 
I'm just, I'm just, <laughs> there was so many things. I was like, my first, I texted my friends while I was watching it. So one of the first things that I remember saying, because of course I record on my phone, so it's on there. You're, it's inside of you. My my text messages are inside of you. I just want you to know that. So one of the first messages that I texted my friends, I was like, why is everyone British? Why is it, uh, yeah. Did anybody else notice that? Because like everybody was British. And I'm like, okay, like cool, you know, like British actors, they need to work too. <laughs> and I do not know if this was made during the strikes. I don't know if it was made during, I, I really don't think it could because of course it's coming out this year. So the strikes happened this year. Oh, there goes my mom. Bye mom. The strikes. But I just, I was like, there's like 10,000 British actors in this show. And it's so like, discombobulating when you've been listening to the same voice actors for a thousand episodes and you're like he ain't british <laughs> she ain't british why are they british huh so strange so that was weird going back y'all know i like to flip back and forth in conversation i'm a ping pong between things going back also there's not a lot of filler in one piece so I'm also watching Naruto Shippuden right there, right now. I finished watching Naruto. There is a booty buttload of filler in Naruto and Naruto Shippuden. I don't know about many other shows, any long running shows like those ones that have a lot of filler. I'm trying to think of one. I can't think of one off the top of my dome right now. But Naruto and Naruto Shippuden have so much filler it's outrageous <laughs> it's irrational <laughs> how much filler they have one piece has literal like 10 percent filler of all the shows which is like mind-boggling for how much how much show there is I remember there are over a thousand episodes <laughs> and there's only 10 percent filler so like there's like maybe a five episode string of filler and then it starts with the next story it's like <laughs> like we going on to the next so they have to cut stuff out <laughs> they have to pick what's important and i totally get that so that's not gonna be a thing that i'm saying in the criticism of the show because i get that i work in the industry <laughs> like i understand that so why is everybody British? I don't understand. The second thing that I had a problem with was why did they decide to make Kobe like a main character in this show? Like, I don't get it. <laughs> like, in the show, Kobe, of course, he's in the first episode. You get to learn about Kobe. It starts off just the same as it starts off in the show. But once Kobe and Luffy break off, like, once Kobe joins the Marines and they break off from each other, you don't see him. You don't see him for a good 250 episodes. <laughs> like, you're just like, like, bye gone no 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 so when they when they were putting kobe in every single episode i was like why are we doing this why are we doing this why why are we doing this um, we could have got so much more in to this season if we didn't have that as like the b story you know like i understand you want to like diversify people's like you want to tell different sides of the story but like Like, you don't see Kobe until he, like, has his, like, pop off after he's been training with Garp. And you're like, who is this? Who is this pink hair man? And then he's like, don't you remember me? And you're like, what? And he's like, I'm Kobe. And you're like, <gasps> you're Kobe. So I was, a, I was a bit confused when we were like, Kobe. Um... And with Mo Beppo, I was like, 
because you don't see him until you're like, <gasps> that's my baba. And he has like his long hair and his like raider eyes or whatever. And like it's like Cyclops band on his eyes. So I was like, oh, oh, we're really, we're really going in with Kobe. Hmm. Also, <laughs> one of my biggest gripes was like i said all the actors are great why is sanji british <laughs> why is sanji british i was like okay either sanji he he's gonna be like french french accent french american accent you know because he's a chef like he makes the food and that's like the stereotypical that's like what the essence of like try what they were trying to you know get at with sanji like sanji is like like Zoro's right here as my first favorite. Sanji's like, like sometimes it like taps each other. Like, I love Sanji. Sanji has a special place in my heart. I think I'm gonna get him like tattooed right next to Zoro, like right here. I don't know, but love that man. But, and his actor was a very cute. He was very cute. Not gonna deny anybody that he was a very handsome man. So I'm like, okay. But I was just, it just threw me off. It threw me so, so much for a loop. I was like, why is this man British? I don't get it. It don't make sense. Oh, that's what I was saying. Is that I was like, okay, either he's going to be French or he's going to be from like Brooklyn. You know, he's going to have like a New York accent. Because like, I think of like, like shows like The Bear, like, isn't that in Brooklyn? I don't, I haven't seen the bear. People say that I look like a girl from the bear. People say that I look like a girl from every walk of life. I just have one of those generic faces. But I was like, oh, he's going to be like a, like one of those like hardcore chefs that work in like a high rise restaurant. And he's going to be like, you know? And then he comes out and he's British. And I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Is he British? I was not the casting director. I heard that, I've heard from sources that say that he worked really hard on that role and I give more power, more power to you, bro. I was just not expecting you to be British. <laughs> That's just me. That's just me and my preferences. But I feel like even though I might have some like little qualms with the show and little differences with how it was produced and made and stuff, I, they followed the, they followed the, the steps, you know, besides Kobe, besides Kobe, because what, what was that? Why, why are we doing this? They followed the, the key points. They tweak the certain things like Luffy doesn't take out Don Craig, Mihawk takes out Don Craig, so you don't get to see that fight where Luffy learns how to fight Don Craig. Oh, I thought Zoro was pulling way too, way too, like, I'm an emo boy. And he was like, I want to wear something black always. Don't you know that I don't have any friends? Like that kind of stuff. And I'm like, that's not Zoro. That's that's not how Zoro is. And the vocal fry. That's one of my biggest pet peeves. I hate vocal fry. Yeah. It's so annoying. Uh, so the whole time he was acting, I was like, please. <laughs> please. For your voice's sake, please. <laughs> You're hurting yourself. So I hope they had a vocal coach on <laughs> on set so that he did not fry out his voice literally because that it don't take long to just kill it. Kill that voice. And you have to do that for like what three to six to eight months at a time when you're filming and you're doing a lot of action and please take care of yourself <laughs> please take care of yourself I know you probably are but just for me to feel better take care of yourself <laughs> 
but he was great he was good i just didn't like that he chose that acting decision of doing the vocal fry i see why he did it just me you know it's tv you don't really get to get the feedback from an audience you know you get the feedback from your director you get the feedback from your showrunner you get the feedback from the writers that are on set you don't get the feedback from an audience who would be able to tell you what do i like what do i don't like blah, blah, blah. if you like leftism go watch one piece <laughs> Oh yeah, that's what I wanted to say was that the Netflix one the Netflix One Piece just made me want to watch One Piece so much more. I was like, I need it, I need it in my life. I want the next episodes to be out. Uh, please, please, please give it to us, please, please. And I was like, I wish I could have been in the show. Like, I want to be in the show. Like, I wish I was in the show. And then I was like, well, there's no, like, black people in One Piece at all. As far as I know, there's no black people in One Piece. As far as I can remember. And they made Naomi's sister black. And I was like, girl, pop off. Get that casting girl. Yes. Yes, girl, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. So I'm proud of her. I'm proud of her the most. <laughs> the mostest. So if you need somebody to be in the second season, you know, call me. Call me. Because I've actually watched like all the episodes and I could do it. I promise. Okay. <laughs> yeah, if you like leftism, watch One Piece. Maybe I'll do, maybe when I feel more confident in spouting my leftist beliefs, I will do like a deep dive into the correlations between leftism, politics, and One Piece. At this point, I don't feel confident enough, so I'm not going to. Maybe in another video. I need more theory. Okay, so I think that's all I'm going to say in this video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like it down below. Like, 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 like. I'm sorry, this is in a stream of videos that is coming out that is lightly to non-edited because my computer, oh, it's over there on the stand. You can't see it. Oh, sorry, sorry. My computer clonked out on me last week. So you're not getting the video that was supposed to be this week the the thrifting video the fall thrifting video that you're supposed to get it you're getting this video instead on sunday this day that you're watching it but not this day that i'm filming it because the future but this is the content that we have right now i know that we are it feels like we're taking a step back but we're taking a step back so that we can run forward when we do get a new computer. So, I hope that you join me on this journey to making good content. If you want me to make more anime content, I would love to. I love anime. I love TV. I love cartoons. I love all of that. Like, like I say, I have a BFA in musical theater. And I would love to be a voice actor someday. So if you want me to talk about that more, comment down below, like this video, subscribe if you want to see my face more often than not. And I will be back with another video next Sunday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So <laughs> I love you guys. I hope that you have a blessed one. And if you don't want to have a blush one, please have a lit one. Have a Luffy one, you know. Gum gum, go get your dreams. All right, you guys. <laughs> I'll see you on the flip side. Bye. Mm. <laughs>